The U.S. Congress has approved a $40 billion aid package to Ukraine, despite Republican lawmakers warning that there is a serious lack of oversight into where exactly that money might end up. U.S. Congressman Chip Roy also has suggested that as America faces surging price inflation and other problems, that aid money would be better spent at home. And I'm wondering when we voted to go to war. If people, if we're going to have a proxy war and we're going to give $40 billion to Ukraine because we want to look all fancy with our blue and yellow ribbons and feel good about ourselves, maybe we should actually have a debate in this chamber, a debate in this body, because the American people expect us to do that. When the border of this country is wide open and cartels have control of it and fentanyl is pouring in and we have $30.5 trillion of debt and gas prices are spiking and $1,100 to fill a tank of diesel, and we go, oh, blank check, $40 billion. And by the way, I'm looking at my colleagues on this side of the aisle on that same point. That concern has been echoed by many Americans as gasoline prices have surged across the U.S., recorded at $4 or more per gallon in all 50 states this week. Many Americans have voiced their outrage online, saying Washington should solve their own country's problems first. Stock market is crashing. Gas prices are rising. Inflation is through the roof. Must be time for another $40 billion for Ukraine. If our elected officials had to pay for their own gas, I bet they would find a solution to the rising gas prices. Meanwhile, back in our country gas prices at highest level ever, and rising. Babies have no formula. Store shelves empty. Supply line crisis. Southern border a mess. Highest inflation in decades. U.S. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm tried to blame soaring inflation in America on Russia's President Vladimir Putin, an accusation that Republican Senator Josh Hawley described as nonsense. You can thank the activity of Vladimir Putin for invading Ukraine and pulling a oh, nonsense. those big uh, With all due respect, Madam Secretary, that's utter nonsense. In January of 2021, the average gas price in my state was $2.07. Eight months later... Eight months later, long before Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine, that price was up over 30 percent, and it has been going up consistently since. 